<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be designing and painting our very own snow globes. Let's get started. So we bought this box. It's a ready to learn Christmas craft on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can check that out for yourself. It comes with a set of four snow globes that you can design yourself. So you can see, you can actually put your own picture on the inside. It comes with eight blank insert cards that you can design yourself. But we thought it would be fun since we do a lot of watercolor on this channel, right? And a lot of our own drawings that we could use watercolor paper to do the inserts. How fun would that be? So let's open it up. Let's see what's inside. Ooh. It comes with four mini snow globes. This is like the really small, very, very small. <laughs> They're pretty little. But you can see the inside has an insert here. So if we twist this, it just pops right out. Okay, so those are the inserts. And it comes with two, so you can design a front and a back, it looks like. So that's what we're gonna start with today. Let's set that aside and make our designs. All right, so what we're gonna do is to get this onto the watercolor paper, we can actually just trace it and cut it out from the watercolor paper. I'm gonna cut my paper in half so you can do one half and I'll do the other. So let's start by grabbing a pencil and take your watercolor paper and you're just gonna trace the shape of the insert onto the watercolor paper. That way we can cut it out later after we've painted it on. So do two of them, cause we're gonna do a front and a back and they can be different on the front and the back. Don't They don't have to be the same, right? And it looks like the inside of these are wide enough that you could even put stickers or things like that on your inserts. It's a pretty big opening. It is. There's one small snow globe. All right, so how do you wanna design your snow globe? I think I wanna do a Christmas tree. Christmas tree, perfect. Okay, so to draw a Christmas tree, you got your pencil? I'll do a Christmas tree too. Let's start with a triangle shape. So start at the bottom, and then make your triangle come right to the middle of the top, and then come back down. And then from there, now that you have the shape of your tree, you can add little pokey branches coming out of it. That's cute. And then at the bottom of the tree, you can just make a round, flat, smiley shape. And then what I'm gonna do is erase my triangle because that was just used for a guide. Let's try a different one. So how about you just start at the top and just do the pokes right away coming down the tree. That's my favorite type to do. Like that. I usually do that. So we have two different tree shapes here that you can try. So something else that we have on hand, we have watercolor paints that we're gonna use to paint our trees today. Then I also have a couple of glitter pens. I have a gold craft pen and a red paint pen and then a white gel pen that we can use for snow. So we can decorate our tree with all of that at the end. Are you ready to paint? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I just have a set of watercolor paints here. We need some water and a brush. Okay, so I think we're all set. We've got our watercolor paints. We have a water jar for dipping and activating the water. I'm actually going to spray the paints just so that the paint is nice and juicy for us. If you don't have water and you don't have wet paint, then you can't paint. Then you can't paint. Okay, grab your brush, dip it in the water. So start by swirling it in the water. We're gonna do the background first. We're gonna start with this blue color. So it helps to swirl it around on the palette first. Make sure that you don't have too much water in your brush. If you have this much water and it's just dripping, that's gonna be way too much water. You just so, have to. You just need more paint than water, and if it's too much, blot it on your paper towel. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the blue. Go ahead and dip in your blue, and let's paint in the background right up to the tree. Try and paint around the tree as much as you can. And if you go out of the edges, look at this. Watch, this is the fun part about this. I can mess up, and you know why that's okay? Because then, because we're cutting them out. Exactly. So you can be messy around those edges. If you have any puddles or pools of water, just use your brush to kind of lift those out. Nice. Should we do the other one too? Or do you want to do a different sky color for this one? I think I'm going to make my sky pink. <laughs> can do anything you want, right? Mm -hmm. So I for the other side, pink background. What? This one is gonna be sunset. Sunset. Ooh, I like the yellow. Looks great. 
next color is pink and the last one will be blue. Oh my goodness, you're painting a full sunset behind it. That's gonna be gorgeous. I like that better than mine. <laughs> Looks a bit orange right there. That's good. We see orange in sunsets all the time. I like when it blends. Mm -hmm, me too. It inspired me to add more to my background. I added a couple distant pine trees. So we can use the green now and paint the tree next on that one that's dry. So there's two different greens here. This one is more of a, you can see in the palette, it's kind of this very earthy green. That would work really well for a tree. Mm -hmm. And this one is bright jungle green. Either one of those will work just fine. So choose your green, the jungle green. You can dip right into the palette if you want and paint in your tree. So the blue one will be daylight and the prettier one will be will be almost nighttime. I can't wait to put these back in the snow globe. Oh man, that's gonna be so fun. I'm adding a stump. I just used some brown for that. And I think my blue one is dry enough that I can do the green now too. Is your sunset dry? Looks pretty dry. So you can do your tree. Like the first video we ever made was making a tris, uh, Christmas tree card. It was, I remember that. That was so good. I am adding snow to this one. So what I'm doing is I'm painting with green and I'm only painting it almost like the stripes of a sweater. <laughs> so I'm leaving some white of the paper still showing. So it looks like snow. Exactly. That's really good. Thanks. All right, paint your other tree. Do you wanna try to do a snowy tree? Mm -hmm. Sunset snowing. So if you tip your brush like this, then see how my brush strokes kind of go pointy down like the tree branches? There you go. But remember, we can always add snow with white paint afterwards too. So if you color it all in mostly, we can add snow over the top. I think that looks pretty snowy. I'm gonna add a bit of shadow just to make it look realistic. That really stands out, yeah. Okay, so once your paint is dry, we can start adding decorations with our paint pens and add little ornaments. So fun. Does Those are pretty. I love how glistening and shimmery they are. I think instead of the gel pens, we're gonna use white paint for the snow. Okay, I have this white paint. It's kind of like gouache. It's white watercolor and it works so well for things like snow. So if you take a little tiny brush like this one, you just tip the, swirl it around in the paint. Only the tip, right? Yeah, just use the tip of the brush. And then you can add snowflakes. So what I'm gonna do is add it in the background. Dot, 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 dot. Another technique that we like to use sometimes is the spatter effect. And you can tap your brush and it drops the snow on the surface. I'm gonna try it, oh no! Oh, oh it's it, working. It kind of looks like it's on your tree. Yeah, it's like snow. That made it way easier. You do have to make sure you're working on a surface that you can clean off afterwards. And you don't wanna just tap it in one area. Tap it all over the place. That's right. Tap, 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 tap. Wow, those look beautiful. So we're gonna let these dry all the way and then we're gonna cut them out and insert them into our snow globes. All right, so check out the bottom of the snow globe here. This is where the inserts go, this little sliver. And right here is a little plug and that is where we're gonna put the water. So I unplug that and I'm gonna go fill that with water. Our watercolors have dried and now we can cut out our inserts. All my scissors are gone. I have some. Okay, so try to make it just like the shape we traced. Those look so pretty. Yes, I love that pop of yellow. Woo, there we go, what a gorgeous lineup. So those are our four Christmas trees that we designed with watercolor ourselves. We filled our snow globes with water. Now, something important to note is in the insert here, it's easy to get water in there when you're filling it. So make sure that you dry that out completely, like with a Q-tip or a maybe, hair dryer. Or maybe even a paper towel, just wipe it yeah, around. Just to make sure it's totally dry before you put your watercolors in there. Because what's gonna happen if we put those in there and it's Be still wet? Because then it, all the paint would get off of there, it would go everywhere. It'll mess up your paintings, right? Well, let's see how well we did. You ready to stick your little inserts in there? There we go. I wanna shake mine. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Wow. It's 
if you're really in stress and you have a snow globe, you shake it and you watch it, it kind of calms you down. We hope you enjoyed this video. See ya!